on a tree. I'm dad. We're going to go fishing, my buddy. Oh, I'm just sitting oh, here. Oh, yeah! I got time. Right, it's clear to see. Hey, everybody. Doing a quick video here for uh, C&D Adventures. Doing on the Cayman Haswing. 55 pound thrust uh 48 or 54 inch uh shaft can't remember exactly but uh what a great motor it's been for us um we taken it uh many lakes or many bays um and it's pretty much performed flawless for us such a great little motor this one here happens to be about uh six years old i guess back about it back around somewhere around 2015 uh nice little motor uh, the only problem we've had when I broke that collar there a um, couple weeks ago, hit the dirt, popped the, that collar, popped that bottom, or that bottom one actually was fine. We just uh, replaced them both because it came with uh, both of them in the kit. And pretty simple repair as well. So, and all the gears inside were almost like new when uh, pulled apart, really actually like new. Uh, it's taken, you can see there's quite a bit of marks on it. It's hit the dirt quite a few times. That's the first time I've had a problem. Uh, there's the Garmin transducer I've got mounted there, and the uh, never broke a prop on this thing. But uh, I've got that transducer line mounted, uh, and it goes through that pipe, and it hooked to a spring and a small pulley, and it allows that uh, keeps tension on that that uh, transducer line as well as uh, you know letting that uh, it pull so it can go down and feed that uh, line around that shaft but it's really simple just a little pulley there hooked to a spring keeps tension on that uh, transducer wire goes through that little plastic pipe uh, moldable kind of bendable and it goes up and it goes through this little uh, pulley here and uh, just feeds up when you pull it up around that uh, that little bracket there onto the when it's mounted up so it's really nice we don't have to worry about it getting caught up anytime uh, within uh, when we're fishing. I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Uh, you can see it just drops down nicely. It's uh, already got one wrapped around. One wrapped around. It's coming out that pulley right there and it just it just feeds down and it uh, doesn't really matter you know how many times you turn around you can turn it around quite a few times without it causing any problems as you can see here. And uh, really I'm going to plug this thing in and Power it up. Watch this thing uh, get going. Just shove those wires on there. It does have a foot control hooks up there. But I've got the uh, remote. And really, that's the only problem I've really had with this machine uh, from the machine standpoint is that remote. But uh, we ordered a new one. Got a new remote for it, which works well. And uh, haven't had a problem since. That other one was intermittent. Had a lot of problems with it. But this one here works great. No issues since I've got the new... Uh, remote and the new remote it has a it's rechargeable so no problems there all right turns around turns around nicely um, you see how that cable just uh, follows the motor as it turns because I've got it zip tied down there not tight uh, but then uh, you can see how it just pulls uh, as you turn it it just pulls that spring a little bit tighter and you can barely see it moving but that uh, motor is turning and it's wrapping that cable around that shaft and really no problems um, you see this uh, this cable will wrap around those several times you can see it get uh, tighter and tighter and then when you go back the other way the spring just pulls it back up and it keeps tension on that line so that there, there's never any slack in it to get caught up anywhere so really really nice little uh, uh, feature I built into this of course there's online uh, many ways of people doing it you would think that this would get in the way and I almost built a cover for it uh, these cables and that little spring and pulley but you don't even notice it's there ever uh, we have never gotten any kind of tanglement with it or anything so probably just leave it as is so yeah you can see it, it can it can wrap around there multiple times with no issues But uh, you can see here, only problem there, I broke that on a on a dock at one point, but uh, no issues 
other than that and the uh, things that I've broken really the remote really the only thing that mechanically went wrong with this thing um, great little motor be uh, selling this little motor it runs like new like I said but we got uh, a Tarova coming with the Helmenbird Helix 6 which will have the iPilot link one of the things we got to do a lot with this little boat is control it a lot and steering when with uh, my boy it's kind of a little a little hard to always do that um, and help him as well so we'll get the uh, the new motor and the uh, Humminbird on there iPilot link and it'll have follow the contour we'll have uh, tracks of our own we can put in there uh, waypoints uh, I, you know Cayman does or has wing does have their own uh, GPS motor but it is controlled by a phone uh, for tracks like that and GPS or the anchor lock so we really want to Being able to set this boat basically on autopilot with the contour follow or tracks through the Humminbird unit itself and I have to have a phone out is great um, and not have to use the remote there, you know. Um, so it's, it, I mean, even though it's a great motor and those types of things, but uh, for us right now, we need something that can kind of take us around the lake and uh, let us fish instead of uh, trying to control where we're going. But a great little motor. No problems with it if I was gonna buy if I had uh, had to buy one again no problems with that would not have any issues uh, the biggest thing would be that uh, the GPS models that they have I would get one of those with the spot lock on it uh, the only thing that I don't like about that is the tracks you have to use with your your phone and uh, phones nowadays are a thousand bucks you drop one in the water there it goes but uh, anyway so I got the uh, I'd rather uh, spend a little bit more money up front, get the one with the that hooks up to the Humminbird, one boat net rick with the Minn Kota, and then we can uh, set that as we go. And follow the contour just really is one of those great features that puts you at that depth. You find the fish, uh, you put it at that depth, and, and go. And we really don't have to worry about anything. Another great feature on this boat we have is the track winch for the anchor uh, I think it's a track uh, 20 and um, I'll tell you what on a small boat we don't have to worry about where the rope goes or anything like that we can drop the the winch with the uh, anchor on the end of it we can reel it back up no issues uh, my son can do it on his own I can say hey son drop the anchor he just has to push down it goes down he knows that when it hits the bottom it, it's gonna loosen up so he stops lets it get tight again he, lets out a few more and you can get that uh, anchor really sunk into that mud uh, but it is an anchor zone 20 by track and uh, man you want to talk about a great little piece of equipment on a boat this size awesome awesome